we'll pray. And then the, the, uh, we don't even have time, but uh, we would, we would, we would, we would we'll pray, we'll do something. Amen. And then I'll be talking about a little bit about tight, tightening. And then I also I'll be teaching tightening. And how many of you have heard that Jesus said you cannot serve God and Mormon? Luke chapter 16. How, how many of you have heard that you cannot serve God and Mormon? Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 13. Luke. Luke 16, 13. And uh, if you are there, if you can do us a favor by just reading. Luke. I'm talking about Mormon. Luke, Luke 16. If you can take a mic, oh, so I can come into there. I tell you, you will never live the same if the miracles will start coming, maybe from next week, you start getting a lot of men. Six years. Yeah, I'm reading from the Gospel of St. Luke, mm -hmm. from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. Luke 16, mm -hmm. verse 13. 13. Verse 13. Yes. No servant can serve, can serve two masters. Uh -huh. For either he will hate the one uh -huh. and love the other, mm -hmm. or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. That's right. He cannot serve God and mom. Amen. Amen. He says, you cannot serve two masters. You by means be faithful to one and unfaithful to an another. Then he says, you cannot serve God and mormon. You cannot serve God and mormon. To today too, I would break it down because I'm not in the Bible. I'm not in the classroom. This is just to know what is happening. Now, Mormon is also known as the golden demon. Mormon is golden. This Mormon is a demon. Mormon is a power and it controls 20,000 demons plus numerous uncountable evil spirits for destruction. Mormon is the storehouse. He is in charge of the storehouse of Satan. Remember, whatever God has, Satan also has counterfeit. So, God has a storehouse. Mammon also has, Satan also has. But the one that is in charge of Satan's storehouse is called Mammon. Mammon is golden. And it has marks, like, uh, he has a facial marks, like Yoruba man. For here, for here. I've already told you that Apart from circumcision and accident, every mark is demonic from my, my own to the least. Whether it is tribal mark, whether it is abota abota, whatever it is, if it, if it was deliberately and consciously given to you, it's demonic. Yes, I have broken my, it's, 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 demonic. it's demonic. Apart from circumcision, that God has, I mean, circumcision, even women are not part, <laughs> only men. And an accident, yeah. But any deliberate mark that your parents, your parents gave it to you because it is your tribe, because it is that is demonic. And this demon, he has a facial mark like Yoruba, and he's golden. That is why the Nigerians love money like. He's a golden demon. He's a power. He controls 20,000 demons plus numerous uncountable every spirit for destruction. Satan has given him a vision. His vision is that before the second coming of Christ, he will be able to establish satanic control on this earth. So all the money belongs to him. That is the vision Satan has given him, that before Jesus will come, he will establish satanic control on this earth. And so he's a serious and a, a demonic, a very powerful demonic 
demon, but can be destroyed by, by Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mammon establishes contract in the physical and then natural realms. He, he establishes contract both physical and then natural. What he, what he does, he, his job is to have contact with mortals, human beings. To have con, con, contract with human beings and also to have con, con, contract with spirit. Now by so doing, he will, be, he will be able to manipulate and convince and confuse you. So he has established contract in the physical as well as the spiritual realms. He is in charge of the Satan. Jesus. He is in charge of the, the storehouse of Satan and distribute satanic wealth in a way that in a, in a way that will establish satanic control over the world. So his aim by distributing this wealth is to establish satanic control on this earth. And, and he is, it looks as if he is succeeding. Because now in America and the world, those who have influences can have their way at the homosexuals and lesbians. Because they have the cash. They have their way. I mean, when homosexuals say this, it will, it will be done. Homosexuals will force every president that will come power. Every, he will come and, and stand before the people and say, I, I believe in homosexuality. So, and this is done by Mormon. He is trying to establish satanic control on this earth. And human beings need money. And so the homosexuals and lesbians, the money, they are controlling money. I mean cash. I mean l'argent. Oh yes. So they are so powerful. Even president of the United States cannot touch them. British Prime Minister cannot touch them. They detect. These are some of the, the things that Mormon is doing in order to establish satanic control on this earth. Converting everybody, man and woman, to become gay and lesbian. He has the cash. He has so many ways and so, 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 so many ways. He has established com communications between him and some families to whom he direct monies. He has established communications between he himself and certain families on this earth to whom he direct money. He has some human beings on this earth to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the extent that he has a church here called Mormon Church. They have money like, like sand. Africa, they have, within 20 years, they have, they have taken all of Africa. They will just build and start giving people bicycles, giving people church of Mormon, church of Mormon. Their university in Utah is super. They have cars. You see what money can do? So why are you poor? No. Today you, you will discover the hidden truth, the biblical truth, and come out of every, every, every thing, everything that you call poverty and, and start possessing your possessions in Jesus' name. Put your hand together for Jesus. So, Mammon has established communications, links with certain families on this earth. He just opium on side. The money, money is not a problem. 
Mormon church, no, no matter how expensive the thing is, they'll buy. They go to Africa and they are buying the best places in Africa, putting their buildings there. Demonic. Then they did not hide. They say, Mormon church. Mormon. So how do we come against this as people of God? We are looking on and things are getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Every day in and day out, they are coming out with laws. And these laws are demonic, abom abominable unto the Lord. The laws that you don't even know. So, Mormon is the one that is doing that. He has established communication between him and some families to whom he directs money. These families use the money to support nations for war. These fa families use the money to support nations for war. And all and anything that is antichrist. That anything that is antichrist. That's what they do. Most of the wars that they are fighting, it involves a lot of money. Mammon is supplying it. And anything that you do that will go against Christianity, Mammon will supply it. Another thing he does, he incites in people the lust for money by making them dis disfactory with what they have. Then he gets them to make infernal money contract, either through witchcraft or by the sacrifice of a loved one or one of their members or, or, or one of the members of their bodies. See, Do you do money in Sakawa? Do you do money? He would even let you bring somebody that you love. Or you go with one of the, any part of your, your body. And money will just be coming like sun. So Mammon is the one that is behind all this. Do you do money? blood, money, anything, anything, anything anti-Christian is ever ready to support it and support it big time just to get you to go to hell. Just to get you to, to go to hell. Money is something that we can't avoid. Very, 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 very important. If you don't have money, you won't be able to even eat. Yes, but when you come to the Lord, he will give you the real wealth and he will add no sorrow in Jesus' name. If any of your relation if any of your family member has gone for this sikedro before, you are in a very big mess. Your uncle or your auntie has at actually gone for this money by losing a member of a, 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 a part of her body or sending a loved ones to go and collect this money. If any of your relation has entered into this contract, you are finished. There was a lady who had a very one a nice boy, about probably 18 year old boy. Brilliant. In fancy film school, Ghana. From SS to the university, he had everything A. He got to the University of Ghana, the, the Ghana's premier university. First year, second year, first time something happened. The 
then this boy, we don't know what is happening to this boy. We don't know whether if it is madness or it is, we don't know what it is. At times he'll go off. He took, he took the mother and the boy or the family and the boy two years then find, 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 finally a lawyer. A lawyer said, do you know, can you go, can you go to Adenta? Can you go and see this man? If you go, let me give you a note. They say, yes, I'll. Yeah, they say you can't see him. Or they say his place is big, you can't see him. So no, I, he's my very good friend. Let me give you a note. Go and then give the note to anybody. Give the note to anybody. So I wasn't even there. They came and one of my pastors said, come the following day. So in the evening they said, lawyer, I know the lawyer. I brought them. So I went in the morning. And when I was there, by five o'clock in the morning, the, ma the, the mother and the son and some aunties, they were there. So I told you, because of my background, as soon as I see you, I know what is wrong with, with you. So I, I started asking, Mama, do you have any brother or uncle who is rich? He, he, he said, yes, that uncle is dead long time. I said, what is his name? He said, uh, from Bon, YF, from, from Bakwe or something. I said, who is YF? He said, oh, yes. He was a rich man. I don't know him. He said, from Bakwe, yeah. I said, what? Then uh, I said, how did he get, how did he get money? He said, oh, we hear that they say, uh, okay, I know. If you hear that, then then my, my, my suspicion is right. As soon as he said, that's what people were saying. I said, because what was happening to the boy, that was, it to take somebody whose family has gone for this, for his, his family member to behave like that. So we took authority and come and we destroyed the powers and the mama. Nearly three and a half weeks, the boy was sound. And the boy is a doctor now. He has also joined the church. Everything is gone. So, so if, if, you see, it's because here you people don't have time. It's not that God doesn't want to bless you, but there are certain things are charcoal. So, it, it, unless you remove that thing, you cannot be blessed fully. They will always be tormenting you. So we dealt with it. I don't know this why if they are talking about, but we dealt with it. Uh, uh, you, you you know him, eh? Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, you see. So we dealt with it, and by the grace of God, the boy is a doctor, and he's now he's now somersaulting and looping, <laughs> praising God. So, you see, let me tell you, deliverance is like a school. If you don't have time, you don't do it because it's a process. If you don't have time, if you want to, if you come to Ghana, you, if we said you want, you see, if you say you want to come, you, I want, you, you want us to take you through deliverance, we have classes. The pastor will tell you, you have to come to check your foundation come to deliverance in something, something, come to you about seven classes. So by the time you have finished the classes, you have spent six weeks to seven weeks. The reason is that we want to know why these things happen. So we go through the classes those of you who have been in my place before, they, they will tell you. You go to check your foundation. From there, you go here. From there, you go here. So by the time you finish all that, if you fail to do it, we will not do it. If you say you will not go to the classes, then you will have to go back. Because when it comes to deliverance, the whole world, they will tell you that the white people will ask you to come and see me. So, if you come to Adenta and say we should take you through deliverance, we have to make sure that 
by the grace of God, you go home free. So we will not do anything basa basa. We will let go through all the teachings. So Mormon, when we, they brought this boy, after praying for him initially and he was a bit okay, the mother was happy. I said, no. We haven't started. You'll have to go through the other classes. So the, the, the mother was coming with him. They went through all. And then we'll book you. The forms are there. I think you've seen the forms that Pastor Rick about. You will book you and then you have to do it three times. First deliverance, second review, like hospital, third review. Then you go and come back in three weeks' time. Because Mormon is a very strong demon. He's a power. And he has a lot of demons under, under, under it. And, so, and he has a lot of branches. When, when it comes to Europe, he, the way he deals with the Europeans are different. Africa, the way he deals with the Africans are different. Asia, they the same. So, if this demon, you are being disturbed, harassed by this demon, then there is a need for, for us to take our time so that you'll be able to be helped. So, the boy is helped by the grace of God and the boy is fine forever. Amen. Amen. He is a participant in all lodges and calls which promise their mem members wealth. Uh, fraternity. Those of you in the higher school, in the university, could you join fraternity? He is there. You, you join in the aim of getting jobs so that you get job or you get something's happened that will help you. It's Mormon. And courts all the lodges. If you join a lodge, as soon as you join the lodge, they, they will give you two spirits, whether it is Freemason, Old Fellows, Knight of Saint, Knight of Saint Juana Juana, or Freemason, or whatever it is. The first time they initiated you, you get up with two spirits. One, you will drink like fish. Two, you'll, you'll be following women like dog. These are two spirits. So every Lord member drinks. Every Lord member, he likes so many women. When you are about se se 70 years, they will give you another two spirits. Every Lord member dies either heart attack or stroke. So you see, the devil doesn't give anything free. Every Lord member, if you know any Lord member who died, either heart attack or stroke, he is the participant in all lodges and courts which pro promise their mem members well. He controls all, all the demons of greed, selfishness. Greed are from her, and selfishness are also from her. He also controls the demon of poverty and financial frustration. And that's why the, the, tithe will, the, the, the tithe will come. The day you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, he has a demon that he assigns to you. And that demon, the only job he does is that make frustrate this person with finances. Financial frustration, poverty. Because if you allow this person to start paying his or her tight, we can't get him again or her. So frustrates this person so that he wouldn't the money will not even be enough for him. Let alone he will even forgot that he has to pay tight. So this demon is assigned to you as a child of God. That is why 
if 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 you are looking for the poor people, you will find them in the church. They are frustrated. Oh, say, oh, anka. And I am unto your car. Who say, oh? Is the truth? How many Christians? How many Christians are rich? How many businesses on this earth that Christians owe? How many? How many businesses on this earth that Christians? You can say, up for this one is for Christians. They are not even up to ten percent. Do you think if this place were Hindu or Muslims, now would they need, would, would, they, beg, would, would they beg for money? No. They won't beg for cash. And so we are supposed to be rich. But because of the influence of the Mormon and his deceit and deception, we are not doing what we are supposed to, to do, so the money is not coming. Because of poverty, you, you have to do four jobs. You have even forgotten about your God, and you are saying, I. Because of poverty, you work like a, a machine. Meanwhile, you are, not, you are not a machine. Somebody will go afternoon and close around for and four, you go there and close around 8.30 in the night and 8.30 in the night, he will go there and sleep there and come in the following morning. I feel within two, two days, <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> it's because you, you, you need cash. But that is not the way God intended for us. We are not to live this way as a child of God. No. Mormon is there to make sure that he, he, he frustrates you. So you go in the morning, you go in the afternoon, you go in the night, you go in the dawn, you go in the chain, you go in then. I feel you want to oh, oh, <laughs> You can't even eat. So tight that when he comes and they put the food in in front of him or her, and he will be heading the food. Mm -hmm. you, or her did, I don't know. Is the truth? A brain if you or her did, you know, to run or her did. Is it Undika crowd? Mormon. And if we will listen and pray, if we will listen, it is God who blesses people. It's not your strength, though. It is God. It is God. How come that a black man like me, an African, I write books and my one, my one book cost 30 something dollars. She went to internet, she didn't find some 30 something. A black man from Ghana. 30 something dollars. The print, the one you have to go and download, 14,000. It's $14. Dollars. You said you want the books, is, is cap, cap, cap. The, no book. And uh, one is. One is cap, cap. The, the, the price is 14, 14, 19, and 19, uh, uh, no, no, okay, then the, the hard cover, 34, you see, God is, you see, I, I keep telling people, 34, 99, one book, it, it wasn't written by the white man. So you can't tell me that one of my strongest and my secret is tight. I will go to America and preach and buy cars and give it to 
can give all the girls my 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 my, my, my pastors. Are you ask me, you ask me. Eric was using B, uh, BM. Yeah, I gave it to, 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 to him. My deputy to two cars, everybody. Who says if you do that, God will not bless you? So we don't want to follow the scripture. We don't want to follow Bible. But we want money. It's like you don't want to die, but you say you want to go to heaven. So Mormon tax Christians who fail to pay tithes, offerings, who pledge and they don't pay. Is their preferred their preferred target. They will, he will target you and frustrate you and destroy everything of yours. Mormon. If you like challenge God, go and take your pay and say, God, I hear they say, my, my pastor, my senior pastor says, we, we are buying the building. I have saved 10,000. Challenge God and go and give, pastor, don't tell anybody. Else. You take the $10,000, 10, put it in the building and see if you, you go home and go and drink only water. So, because of that, we everybody want to. The, the Bible says, the one you are keeping, uh, it will be scattered. But if you scatter, you will gather. Yes. Yes. But Mormon will not allow you. Mormon will chase you, and, and prayer cannot. Prayer cannot solve it. What will solve the financial problem is there black and white. Bring your tithe. So you don't change the, the scripture. You don't pray. Bring your tithe. You bring. This one, Afro Nigerians, they know how to do it. Nigeria, Nigeria man. Ah! Nigeria man. So God is blessing them. Because Mormon will not allow you to prosper. In appearance, Mormon is golden and has a facial marks like a Yoruba man. Real wealth, wealth is for God to give his people. For the earth is the laws and the, fu the, and the, and the fullness thereof. God gives to his children according to their need. He desired that they will be, he desired that they will be comfortable when it is, when it is necessary for a child of God to be wealth. He gives the wealth. When it is necessary for a child of God to be wealth, he gives the wealth. Otherwise, he will give you enough to make you enjoy living. Mammon possesses people through their love for money. He possesses people through their love for money. So, so if you don't have money and you, you go to Sakawa, you know, these Ghanas, the young boys were just carrying coffin in the night. So they are, they are just dying like. Yes, carrying coffin because of cash. They are doing all sorts of things because of cash. And, and that's how people contract with, uh, they, they, they have uh, 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 contact with this demon. And when this demon comes into your family, the whole family is finished. As and when he will he will strike. As and when. So if you are a child of God, the solution is obey the word. That is the solution. Solution is not in the 
salt or water. Solution is not in the anything. The solution is in the word. What does the word say concerning my financial problems? It says bring your, 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 your tithe. So as soon as you take your paycheck, remember that you owe God. So add the debt that you owe, add the 10% that you owe God, no, add it to your, your creditors. And so when you are paying your bills, go and pay God first. And then before you pay others. But if you say, I for God, you, you understand. He does not understand anything. Yes. God does not understand anything at all. Until he has David, David, David. He does not understand anything at all. The only thing understands is obey. Bring your tithe. Finish. Now, let me tell you. I said I have never seen anybody who pays tithe and he's poor. Let me. Is my friend here? Come. Let me. Now, come. Let me now explain. The only way for God to bless us financially, the only way, we have so many ways in which God will, will, will bless us. If you are sick, he can heal you. If you are this, if you wanted this. But when it comes to finances and your job, something to do with money, the only sure way for God to open door for you and prosper you financially is tithes and offering and then seed. Tithes, offering, and then seed. Now, the white people, they learn this secret to the ex extent that every year they even pay tithes to African countries. Those grants that they give it to us. Are you saying there's no poor white man in, in America? Are you saying there's no poor white man in, 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 in England? But still, but still, they will bring the money and go and give it to Africans as a grant free. So they have come to understand that tight or giving is the only solution when it comes to financial problems. So if this sister is a Christian, uh, come here. The very day he received Jesus as her Lord and personal Savior and he came out of the powers of darkness into his marvelous life, Mormons will bring about two demons to monitor her, to follow her. Their job, not to hurt you, their job is to prevent her from understanding the purpose of tithe and offering. That's all. That's why it is difficult for you, for you, to, for you people to pay the tithe. It's spiritual. It's strong. It's spiritual. So Muhammad will say, she is now a child of God. Now, we need to discourage her from paying tithe and offering and giving. Because if, if we leave her, the pastor will teach her, she will start practicing it, and we have no choice than to, than to back off because we can't attack her. So what we do is that Mama will bring the two demons to, to follow you. Now, what they will do is that they will try to bring financial problems. So, when the financial problems start coming, you start seeking for help. And the help that you, you, you'll be seeking, if she's a beautiful girl like this, the help that you'll be seeking, it will be coming from a man. And no man on this earth is a father Christmas. Oh, Yes.
no man. So they will make sure that this sister has finished school, everything, but she won't, she won't have a job. And they'll try to open a, a, a door of sin for this sister to enter in the name of help. So either she will have a boyfriend, which is, she will think it is normal, but it's not normal. But when it comes to tithe and offering, she wouldn't like to hear it at all. If they fail to push her into that area, and she is so strong in the Lord, what she will do is that they will, they will allow her to pay this month tight. The following month, you say, God, God understands, so she won't pay. The following month, he will say, God understands, so she, 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 she won't pay. The third month, she will go and pay half. It's not 10%. She will put something so that, so that they will record or something so they will know that at least he has paid something. Now, if that is how you pay your tithe, then there is no way God will smile at you. How many of us have been doing that? We pay today because of our, our, because of our, our rent and so we say God un understands. How many of you have been doing that? You, you have been doing that, eh? And you, aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. you, you lift your hand. I just want to show you. Uh, how many of you? Uh, Peja, you, aha, uh -huh. Peja. Aha. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. so, you see, so you have, so, so, Bible, uh, Bible talks about unfaithfulness. God talks about unfaithfulness. So, you are not faithful in the area of tithe and offering. And God says something. He says, if you bring the tithe and offering, he will rebuke the de devourer. But if you fail to bring it, you are cursed with the curse. Oh, you haven't read it? Huh? You haven't? Oh, sorry. Let me read for you. Uh, let me read for you. You haven't read it, eh? That's why then start gathering your tithes and bring it. Let's go to the book of Malachi. Maybe some think uh, Yes, Malachi 3. Let's, let's go to 8. Read 8. Okay, let, okay, read 8. Read 8 to 10. I'm reading from Malachi chapter 3 mm. from 8 to 10. Mm -hmm. Will a man rob God? You see how first he has a, he has he has accused you. Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? And now, a nipper so or be we a Uh huh. Yet we have robbed him. Or see, yet we we are po we we me we are arm robber. You are arm robber. You are arm arm robber. Yet you have robbed me. Uh huh. But you say. Have we but you say, oh God, I've been praying every day. I've been crying every day. I've been sweeping here. Where did I, I rob you? Uh -huh. In tithes and offerings. In tithes and offerings. Oh, hold on. In tithes and what? Offerings. offerings. In tithes and offerings. Then he says what? Verse 9. Mm -hmm. Ye are cursed with the curse. For ye have hold on. You have done what? Cursed. And what do we do? With the curse. So if God has cursed you because you will be stealing tight, who can pray and overturn the curse? Now I'm just asking you. Hold on. So if you are poor, that I'm saying that uh, Christians are full of their poverty and here from quite a while. If imagine you most of you raise your hands. And so if you are robbing God, that one is not what is and without from your family. No, 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 no. Ah. Ah, now It's not witches and wizards. It's not in. Uh, it's, not, it's not Asimodi. It's not anybody. It's the Lord Himself. He says, "You are." Son, uh, are cursed with a curse. He says, "You have cursed." With that curse. is why we don't have favor. No, f no favor. No full of in initiative. 
no, no focus because you are cursed. Every cursed person is being denied of favor, no focus, no initiative. Whatever you say, people, people, people don't, 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 don't take you serious. They are cheating you. They are abusing you. It means you are cursed. If you are in your job and they, 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 they don't want to see you, then it means you are not, you are not paying tight. You will stop and say, you see, my boss don't want to see me. Wouldn't you tight? You don't, you see, wouldn't tight, wouldn't you? So the, yes, so the curses is working in your life. It's not your boss. As a child of God, the Bible is saying that you have robbed him in tithe and offering. So you are cursed with the curse. And see, whatever your boss is doing to you, you know, it is the curse that is working. It's not the boss. Mm -hmm. The cheating, the harassment, the what is the boss. So it's not something that you think is a human being, but because God has spoken concerning tight, it's working. Because you pay today, tomorrow you won't pay. T tomorrow you pay half. We don't do that. We don't do that. <laughs> if you do that, that's why I said I have never seen anybody who pay tight faithfully and say I am I am poor. If, if you like, challenge me and God and said, okay, about five, five months I haven't paid the tithe I owe. All the money I have saved that I'm going to bring the tithe from today, I'll be faithful for at least six, seven months and see if God is true. If you like, do that. So, because of that, you are not, you are you are not receiving the strangest blessing. If you pay tight, you are entitled to strangest blessing. Do you know that Abraham was a, a stranger in a land? God did what? Do you know that Jacob was a, a stranger in, in his uncle's house? God did, 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 did what? Do you know that Joseph was a stranger in Egypt? God did, did what? Now we have what we call strangest blessing. Now the strangest blessing that I'm talking about, it will come from the tithe that you are paying. Now you have moved. So we believe that as a child, a child of God, for God to allow you to live wherever you are, whether Ghana or everywhere to come here, you, know, you have become a stranger. So your protection and your peace come from God. So whether God likes it or not, he has to provide it. So as you begin to pay your tithe, now you get this stranger's blessing. Addition to whatever God will bless you because you are working. So you see, so if you are not paying the tithe, the stranger's blessing is cut off. You came from Ghana empty. You may go empty. Because Abraham left, and when he got to the that land, it, it, he was full. Jacob went to the, the, the uncle's house empty. He came full. Joseph went to Egypt with empty. He came full. If you go through the scriptures, whoever traveled outside Israel, he came back with. When the children of Israel were leaving uh, Egypt, they went to the promised land with full gold, everything. So the stranger's blessing, you will find it in the tithe. So if you are not paying that, you will be denied of the stranger's blessing. Before the blessing that you are supposed to receive because we are a child of God. So God is saying that you have robbed me, so you are cursed with curse. So normally I don't pray for people, I don't pray for Christians that God should bless them. You know what to do. So you, you, you have been, I cannot pray to overturn the curse. So there are, there are some people, they are time wasters. So I, if you will not go and pay tight and be blessed, because I, mean, I pay it, I do it. I pay my, I pay my, my tight. Even be, before I, I, the, the, the church will give him my pay, they have already taken it. Ah, it will not even come to me. That's right. 
When I live here, whatever I get, I go, I pay tight. So what are you talking about? My books that I sell, I pay tight. Everything that I have, one, I, the first thing, if I go, there was a time they stole, uh, uh, Reverend Eric, Eric uh, was there. I, I traveled to, uh, uh, I think, uh, London. I came back, we've broken our safe. At that time, we have two white people working, uh, working with us. One was our, our administrator. We've broken the whole safe, took the, the church money, everything that we have. They were going to the police station. You ask Eric. I said, ah, I said why? We are going to go. I said, no, 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 no. God has opened the door for me to be blessed. Where are you going? <laughs> How much? They mentioned I paid everything. You ask Eric, I paid everything. I said, no, no, no. Don't go to police station. Don't go there at all. God wants to, to I paid. So, we preach, we pay tight, we pay offering, we do, have, 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 we, we, we do everything. So if you come and sit down and say, I should pray for you, for you to get money, where are you going to get them, get, get, get them money? Money for, for where? You have been cursed with the curse you are asking me to pay. To pray for what? We don't pray like that. You've been cursed. He says, I have cursed you curse. with curse. He says, I have cursed you with a curse. No man can pray and lift that case. The only thing that you have to do for, for the case to be lifted is to restore your tithe. Start paying your tithe every month or every week or every two weeks. Just be paying it. And if you are faithful, just six months, you begin to see the power of God. So, continue. Bring ye all the tithe. He says, you see, he says, bring all the tithe mm -hmm. into the storehouse uh -huh. that there may be meat in my heart. Mm -hmm. And prove me now herewith, mm -hmm. say the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there, there shall not be room enough to receive it. Okay, so the only key to open the windows of heaven is tithe. Maybe that's where your, 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 your blessings are. So if you fail to provide the key, and you say, I should pray for you, what kind of prayer do you want to pray? Because the only remedy, the only thing that you need to do for this to come is to pay. He says, if you bring the tithe, I will open the windows of heaven. So you cannot sit down and say, I am a Christian, and but God understands. This this month, my bills went up, my gas went up, my ins insurance went 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 up. Thank God that half of tight it doesn't go up. It's only ten percent. <laughs> Amen. Tight tight that is is ten percent. Ever sure. It's ten. I finish it. I will rebuke the devourer. He says, I will rebuke the devourer. He, said, he says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your vine. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your vine. See, I will rebuke the devourer. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your vine. Uh -huh. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the tide. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Say the Lord of mm -hmm. hosts. So if this sister is paying tithes as she pleases, she gets nothing. It's just like a, you are doing some susu. They said every month you have to do The day you stop, you, you get nothing. So I will challenge you that for you to know that Jesus is real, the word of God is real, why don't you Sit down and calculate the arrears. That is the truth. Calculate the arrears and just give them a check. 
In fact, the Bible even says, if you don't pay, you pay 20. You pay interest. Yes, God loves interest. Hey, God is interested in interest. Didn't you hear Jesus telling the one man, the talent, you know, he gave one, and he put it under this thing. He said, at least you have in the back hand, so that he earned interest. Yes, he loves it. God is a businessman. Yes. So if you are doing business with, with him, don't try. If we can do that, anyway, we'll pray and break and break moment. If we can do that, there will be nobody find wanting in this church. So tight, don't joke with it. Tight and offering. Don't joke at all. Do not. Very, very, very important. Uh -huh. Very, very. So don't joke at all. Tight and offerings, don't. So calculate how much you have. Yeah, arrears. It can be one year or two years or uh, six months. Maybe every month you pay hundred dollars a month as tight. If it is one, one year, it's thousand two. Pay it a hundred hundred twelve months. Start paying small, small. Uh, now, if, now, if you are not working, you can't pay tight. Because you are not earning an income. So if you are not working, then you can't pay tight. Because you are not earning any income. But if you are working, then you ought to pay tight. Amen. Put your hands together for this. Then... Let me talk about cowries. City, eh? Cowries. You know, how, how many of you have seen cowries? Uh -huh. City, eh? Cowries. To some, marine gives cowries. To some, marine gives cowries. Cowries are shells that you can find them from the sea. It's, yeah, if you're a child of God, you can't, you can't, you can't own some. Cowries are not good at all. To some, marine gives cowries. The cowries shows that your heart is in the control of mommy water spirit. Yes. The cowries shows that your heart is in the control of mommy water spirit. Cowries are put in the heart, the palm, and the hair, in, in the house, on the wrist, and forehead. Cowries can be put in the heart. Cowries can be put in the palm. Cowries can be put in the hair when they are bleeding their hair. And cowries can be put in the house. It can also be worn on the wrist. And then also, it can also be put in the forehead. Cowries are the symbol of stubbornness. And they normally go in threes. Cowries are a symbol of stubbornness. And they are normally go in threes. See, if you go to a madam or something, when he throw the cowries, they are normally three. Cowries can be put, people swallow it. Because of, yes, a lot of people, if you go to a fetish priest or a, a, a native doctor or some he would ask you to, 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 to swallow. How many of you have swallowed some? Oh, they swallow. Oh, you haven't heard that, that before? Uh -huh. You haven't? They swallow. We pray with a, a lot of people. They, they, they swallow. Some swallow two, some one. Yes. For some how much? Three, eh? are you, you, uh, you see? They swallow. So cowries is not so, some something that a child of God should be playing with. It's not good at all. It can be put in your, your, your forehead. It can also be put in your palm. You can wear it as a real. How many of you have worn some some before? You've made cowries as a, a you put it in your palm. 
you are raised. You to here. Then what is he now? You 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 throw it away. Yeah, or or is oh, your 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 own is womb. And you were. Uh, how uh, how did you find out? Uh, Pastor Eric told told you where. Uh, uh huh. But you 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 you, you, uh, you didn't you haven't found out yet. So it's in the house. And throw it away. Cowries. Cowries is very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Nobody should possess cowries as a child of God. It's not good. It's not good at all. Cowries are the symbol of stubbornness and not normally goes in threes. Three cowries in the heart of somebody show, show, shows that the person is seed for dwarf spirit. Shows that the person is seed for dwarf Say you know dwarfs. Mumotia. That the person is seed for dwarf spirit. That person will be very, 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 very stubborn. Cowries means poverty or harassment. The person is never happy. Three carries in the heart of somebody shows that the person is sealed for dwarf spirit. That person will be very stubborn. It means poverty or harassment. The person is never happy. That's what he does. Cowries stands for poverty. Cowries stands for stubbornness. If you possess them, you will never get what you want. You are never happy. You never get. You are never happy. You never get. So if you have cowries in the home, just go and throw it away. We are coming to break it. So if you go, throw it away. How, 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 how many of you have put on your head too? Maybe you were breathing your hair and you put uh, your children. When you were children, you were putting cowries there. It's not good at all. Hmm? Ready or change some, some year? How you say? Hmm? Put your hand together for Jesus. Cowries, cowries, cowries. The person is never happy. He will never get what he he wants uh, uh, in life, but will be very stubborn. <laughs> he will never get what he wants in life, but will be very stubborn. Even in the presence of God, such people are stubborn until the cowards are cast out of their heart. The deliverance is very complicated. And if you are praying for such a person, you need to exercise patience. Because he is to uproot them till the victim becomes free. So when we, you are delivering somebody from cows, cows, that, that, that is why here we can't be because we need patience. Patience until the cowries are uprooted from the victim. So a lot of jobs, because of your time, as uh, our, our Africans come into here, it, 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 it will be impossible, but it's it possible for the white people. I've done for the white people, and they have a lot of time. But our brothers and sisters here, they don't have time because of The highest numbers of cowries somebody can wear are seven. Cowries in the heart causes anger, irritation. Cowries in the heart causes anger and irritation. When those are, when those are cast out, you have to discipline your, your flesh and your carnal reactions. The highest number of cowries somebody can wear are seven. 
carries in the heart causes anger and irritation. And those are cast out. You have to discipline your flesh and your carnal reaction. When a person has seven calories, it means she is a, a paragon of mami water or marine spirit. He's a paragon of marine spirit. And such a person needs three days dry fasting and prayer and feed on the word of God till the spirit is broken. Or she rejects the demon. That is why the classes we do. Such people, you, you, you put him in a three days dry fasting. And such people have to feed on the word of God till the spirit is broken. And when she rejects the demon, that person will, will, uh, will be free. That is why we, we do the classes. So you cannot, if you have such a problem, it, it won't take one day, then you go. You may fall down and cry and manifest, but it will not go. Because you, we, you, we need to give you the double dose of the word, word, word of God. We have to bombard you with the word of God. We give you double dose. It has no side, side, side effects. <laughs> yes, it has no side, 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 side effect. And, and if I'm to teach you the manifestations, just like Pastor, Pastor Rick know, those who are manifesting in the area of cowries, those who are, all that they do, I know what is, we know what is happening. Every demon or every problem, every spiritual problem has its own manifestation. So what you've been doing, we know what you, where uh, you belong. But the point, the point is that there's no time, so you don't even need to. So every spiritual problem has a manifestation. And as you begin to manifest here, we, we know exactly what is happening and where you, you belong. When the person can when the person can say from her heart in agreement of his soul and spirit that she does not like the demon again but want God then the, de then, then the de deliverance is facilitated. So, so deliverance you have to be part of it and come to a point that I don't want it again. I am tired of it. I don't want it. When the person can Confidently say, I don't want it again. I am tired. Say with his soul, body, and mind. Then, 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 then the deliverance is facilitated. So to, to, to do deliverance for somebody is not, that's why I want to go with that girl. It's not something you can just do one day and go. The, the manifestation that is, 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 I know why he's doing that. So, so, so it's not just a one day. And you, somebody will fall down and you pray. And then, no. They are root. And those root must be uprooted. You see. So, so it's, it's something that is time. And we, we have, some, we have some, 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 some cases. We call them case study. Case study. It's just like hospital. If you come to our place, it's just like hospital. You have to reject the that you have to reject the demon from your heart. Then the Lord will acknowledge your willingness to receive Him. When a a cowry marine possesses the person, is automatically cowry possess. When a cowry marine possesses a person, that person is automatically possessed. The commonest marine purpose. Possession is mami water and familiar spirit. The commonest marine possess the 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 commonest marine possess is mami water and the familiar spirit. When such a person is possessed by cowries, 
or have what calories or have calories or have used calories, such a person needs deliverance. Such a person needs deliverance, not aggressive spiritual warfare. You know, we have people term, people you take aggressive spiritual warfare to be a deliverance prayer. It's, it's, they, they are two deliverance. You can, you can aggressively pray, you can war, but when it comes to the real deliverance, the, the behavior and the pattern, everything is different. So here, you don't need aggressive spiritual warfare. You need deliverance. Most of the churches that you see, they always team, they always use aggressive spiritual warfare and they say it's deliverance. No. So that is what a person is. So if you have, if you have ever come into contact with cowries, wear them, keep them, harbor them, you need deliverance. So I will, I will end here because we, we, I need, we need to pray. And if I have any, next time I will do uh, Lavendine Spirit. I wanted to add it, but it's too, too long. So, yes, so we are going to now, I'm going to take some few questions and we'll enter into prayer. And then, by the grace of God, God will touch them. So who has any questions? Bishop, speaking about coldness or we call it sedia, could it be possible that our own country is so poor because of that? Because when uh, in 1957, Ghana attained its independence, Kwame Nkrumah used sedia as our money, and that's why we call Ghana's money city. city. I was going to, I was going to so, now start that. And if that is so, yes. how can we get the whole country to be delivered? You cannot get, get out of this situation. You cannot get the whole. You can. You cannot get it. You cannot get the whole country to be delivered because not all of them are Christians. Christians. Yeah, our money is called city, but the white could not pronounce it and made it city. Uh, for this, t this thing I am telling you, Ghana, they have had, uh, I've been teaching in Ghana. I've been teaching everywhere I go, CDO, CDO, yes. So, so yes, so they know. Mm -hmm. So it stands for poverty, it stands for harassment, it's, it stands for so many things. Any, any question? Uh, okay. Uh, that, that the gentleman at the back before the uh -huh. uh, Bishop Guy, mm -hmm. we've heard so much about these demons. Uh, we've heard so much about these demons uh -huh. in our modern day Christian. What should be the lifestyle of a modern day Christian? Because I am beginning to fear even to put a wrist watch <laughs> on myself. <laughs> Thinking that gold is being dug from the ground. It could have been contaminated by city. Good. So is that <laughs> the reason why so many Christians are poor in these modern times? I mean, it's become so weird. Please explain. Thank you so much. You see, these are very deep through that. Um, unfortunately, it has not been given to a lot of people, except probably those who had a very horrible ba background as idol worshippers. And as you are worshipping the idols, what the spirit uses you to do to people, like bring seed here so that we would do and bring that. Now, when you come out from this idol worship, that is where God will now tell you that all these things that you were doing, that is the effect. Now, we 
Christians will follow because the world is the world is do doing it. Any spirit filled Christian will not want to have anything to 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 to, to, uh, to do with city or beat because who are those people who uses them? I've never seen any pastor, any man of God wearing them, apart from the fetish priests and fetish priestess. <laughs> I've never seen some. And the effects of that, the effects of that, or the, 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 what the enemy is using this to harm, to, 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 to harm us. If you go to any fetish priest or any uh, uh, Kabbalist or any native doctor, they will tell you that these things are spirit. So, they will tell you that these things are spirit and it is not for everybody. Because uh, a man, I was teaching this somewhere, and a man said, a man came and confirmed and said, he was, he was living in a, in, a, in, a, in a palace. And then in the palace, the fetish priest that was serving the chief warned them seriously that number one, children cannot play with Sidia because it's a spirit. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spirit. Number two, they cannot do this because if you do this. So when I was teaching, he came and said that that is why the man was telling me that you cannot use it because the moment you use it, something, something happens. So like Paul was advising the, 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 the Corinthians about modesty, if, if, I mean, if you go to the book of Corinthians, Paul was talking about modesty. The way they wear their gold. Paul was complaining. The way they wear their gold, the way they even read it is there. Now, Paul may not say anything uh, maybe uh, 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 spiritual, maybe because of their, their lifestyle. But we Africans, everything that we have is 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 purported to 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 be something that is no good like beet beet cowries beet are worn by fetish priests and fetish priests it is associated with festivals bra gro bra this so you cannot as a child of God well, beat because beats are spirit. So, watch has nothing to do with because watch, nobody has dedicated that watch to any spirit. Nobody has ded dedicated the chain to any spirit. Unless you can prove that the chain that you are wearing, this chain has been dedicated to something. Or the watch that you are wearing. It has been dedicated to something. Other than that, you have no, I mean, you have no fear of buying a watch from somewhere and then put it on. Or you have no fear of putting on your chain. Unless you can, you can, you can conveniently tell somebody that this is something that it is done in this way, that way, that way. But when it comes to cowries and then beat. That one, if you're if, if you a child of God, the only advice is that don't, don't even go there. Because if you go there, you will have yourself to be blamed. Uh, give him the last one. Huh? Uh, Bishop, mm -hmm. then I am beginning to conclude that, and I just want to take the Ashanti culture. Every Ashanti young baby girl had been already ordained with spirits, marine spirits. Because the moment a girl is born, they put beads in their legs, in their Not, not only, not only Ash Ashanti. That's why I know. I don't want to commit <laughs> anybody else. Okay. That's where I come from. That's what, what I know. <laughs> so is that the reason why, are you saying that every Ashanti woman is bewitched? Oh, no, no. We are not all with you. Listen. Because they all have beads. Listen, listen. Our, uh, listen, our culture uh, listen, our culture and our custom has a religious context. Our culture, if we're a child of God, we cannot 
do culture. Unless you are, if you are, if you are, if you are a child of God, you won't allow your, your daughter for, for these people to come and wear them beat. Because as a child of God, you see, our culture, the, the African culture, has a religious context. If 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 if, if you don't know, it, it has. They pour lab, lab, labation. They do so many things. It has even the drumming and dancing. Ah, uh, has some significant. So if you are a child of God, and you want to stay free, then stay away from African culture. Else, every day, every day. It will happen every day. Stay away. You see, I am an African. Why would I come and stand here and say African culture is, is, is no good? But my brother, my sister, don't. No Christian can become a chief or a king in Africa. It is never true. We don't have Christ, Christ, Christian chiefs in Africa. It's a black stool. They do festivals. And the festival that they, they do they worship spirit. So how can a, a child of God be, become a chief? It's a, it's a greatest deception. It's a lie from the pit of the hell. You cannot, unless you don't want Jesus. But if you want Jesus, you can never ever become a chief or hima in, 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 in Africa. Ah, but what you will be made to go through, I mean, if you were a chief, what you be made to look? There was a, a man called uh, Okonfo at uh, Sofo Damwa. He has re, re, uh, uh, written a book. He says no Christian can be a chief. I'll bring the book. He said it. Okonfo uh, Sofo Damwa. He said no Christian can be a chief because what you are made to go through during the process, and when you die, they will bury you as a chief. And the things that they do, no Christian can become a chief. Was said by a comfort that moi, or so for. Put your hand together for Jesus. Uh -huh. um, I didn't have a question uh -huh. because of what you said. Uh -huh. um, I believe it. Yeah. But there was this chief of uh, Abokobi. Uh -huh. And I'm sure you know it. Uh -huh. when, the Presby. Well, yes, when the Presbyterian Church came to Ghana, they settled at Abokobi first. Uh -huh. And then this man was the next in line. He didn't want to become a chief. That's and right. he entered into a, a compromise with them. If you want me to be a chief, I will swear with the Bible. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have anything to do with your rights. Mm -hmm. But I will rule by the word of God. Mm -hmm. And it was because I was in the industry, it was a big news that we uh, covered in Ghana. I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt then. You know, I am from the royal family, as you right. know. Uh -huh. But I have gotten Come out, out right. of it, but I know that. But when the man did that, I said, could it be true that because he has shunned all those rights, and then he is ruling by the Bible according to his word. It, it, now, you know, from what you said, man's story. Can you bring, throw some light? You see, some of them are religious, but they are not Christian. Some of them are religious. He would take the Bible, but there's no born again Christian with his rightful mind that I'm going to enter into a chieftains in Africa. No way. But some of the chiefs, oh, they even go to church. But they are religious. You know, it's let me. Salvation. Don't joke with sal salvation yes. because it costs somebody. Somebody have to die. And the word of God is clearly. You cannot. He says, what has light got to do with darkness? What, what has Belia got, got to do with Christ? You cannot do that. That's what has, has nullified the power of churches in, in, in Ghana. You cannot. You can't save two masters. I mean, in a, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, chieftains in Africa is a principality. So no Christian born again, Holy Ghost, 
We'll say I'm going to be here. No way. But religion. How for religious people, they can, they can do it. We're so religious. Even some chiefs even give land for church to be built. That's right. They are religious. But they, they don't know Jesus. If they die today, 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 they will, they, will, they, will not, they, will not, they will never go with Christ. So if you're not very careful, you'll be deceived. That's right. If you're not very, very careful, you'll be deceived at once. So, no born again filled with the Holy Ghost who said, I'm going to become a Santahini. No way. No, 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 it's true. You cannot. So, do you think a Santahini is a, <laughs> a Christian? Where? Which, which kind of Christian? Is that how we, we serve God? Like me, I will leave and then come. <laughs> no, you can't do that. You cannot. You cannot. No, no, no born again Christian in Africa can become a chief. Or comfort them who has written a book. He wrote it plain. Amen. Okay. Yo. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Bishop, concerning the tithe that you were talking about, uh, uh, some churches teach it. What is the scope of our paying tithe? Is it only by our salary or if we are given a gift? No, no, no. If you are given a money, if, if you are given a gift, like uh, if somebody can give you maybe $200 less as a gift, you, can, you, you, you have to pay tithe. What about we, those that government give us letter grants like this and that? Other? Yeah, you have to pay tithe. Are you sure? Yes. So start, start, st yeah, start paying. Yes. <laughs> okay. So. Full stamps because. Okay. One. Okay. Full stamps. Okay. Uh -huh. Quick. Why? I can I can One, two, three, four. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Daddy, the Church of Mormon uh -huh. is in Tamale. Uh huh. Not only Tamale. In okay. in uh -huh. March, my most closest friend told me that he's worshiping with them. Uh -huh. And he showed me uh, their version of the Bible and uh -huh. they use the normal Bible too. Uh -huh. I asked him where the church is from. He said it originated from here. And I told him if America is 200 years old, uh, it's too young to have a church on its own like that. And he said I'm starting my unnecessary theory. <laughs> so I know anything I say, he will not be ready to take it. But he's worshiping with them. How can I get now, him out? Now you are here, can you get somebody out? You are here uh, 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 filming me and you say you want to get some, um, somebody out. Okay, patch up. Pa 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 better, huh? You are filming some, somebody here. <laughs> you can't get, just, just be praying for him. And we'll, we, will, we, will, we will take our offering and then Uh -huh. um, or well, the way we condemn ourselves as Africans. Uh -huh. When it comes to acquiring things, our cravings are for Vietnamese and Chinese food. Lentils, Toyota, <laughs> these things, some, and even some of our pastors will go for green cars from Japan. Are not Christians. Chinese are not Christians. But we go for their TV sets, <laughs> we go for Sony, we go for Mitsubishi, we go for Daiwu, and all these things. 